Hey everyone, today I'll be taking a look at the Etherscan site and the Polygon Scan site and how you can use it to its full potential in your crypto ventures in your day-to-day -day life. So first of all, when you load up etherscan.io, this section right here shows the latest blocks. So you're probably not going to use this bit too much or the latest transactions as well. But some of the data points on here are actually quite useful. So the Ether price is just great so you don't have to go to CoinGecko every time to check the price. Next we've got the market cap. So this is the market cap of Ether, the asset, not including any of the tokens on the network. Next over here we've got the transactions that happened in the last 24 hours. And right here we've got the difficulty of the network. So how many Terra hashes and how secure the network is. And just next to that we've got the hash rate, which is a great reminder that you're probably not going to be profitable mining Ethereum without 10 or more GPUs, but the switch to proof of stake should change that, if it ever does come around. But now the two main parts which are actually useful every day is the medium gas price, and if you hover over where it says whatever amount Guay, you can click on it, it'll load up the Ethereum gas tracker. So if you wanted to do a transaction on the Ethereum network, such as sending Ethereum, this part right here is your best bet to figure out how expensive it's going to be. So just going the regular price that MetaMask sets, if you're just sending Ethereum, the asset, not wrapped Ethereum or any other token, it's going to be whatever's in the middle box here. And at this time, it's about $1.57. But if you wanted to send an ERC20 token, like Chainlink, or any other token, you'll head down to the ERC20 transfer row, and this is going to give you a good estimate on how much it's going to be, so it'll be around $5 right now. And a Uniswap swap, as well as Sushi swap, on average will cost around $15 if you want it to get through without failing. And of course, if you wanted to add or remove liquidity to Uniswap, that's going to be about $14 as well. Now this box right here, which just got updated to update every 10 seconds, which is amazing. Basically gives you a real-time estimate on what you should set your gas price as. So right now, if I wanted to rush a transaction through within the next 30 seconds, I'd probably go to the top two numbers here and set my transaction to be about 32 or 33 guay, which would ensure it would get through fast, but would be expensive as well. But just remember, if you are using dApps on the Ethereum network, a lot of the time you will have to approve contracts before you can actually interact with it, which usually costs a little extra each time. And just a few days ago, I was using Aave on Ethereum. The average gas price was about 10 to 15 guay, and I thought that was great. But after depositing some ETH, taking out a USDC loan, then paying it back a few hours later, all up, it cost about $100 in ETH, which really wasn't worth it in the end. Now, going back to the homepage, I'm going to open up MetaMask, hover over my address and copy it. Now I'll paste in the search bar here, go paste, and search. Now what you're looking at here is my profile, but of course if you paste your address in, it'll show you everything you've done. And this little box right here is probably the most useful box you'll ever use, as well as this box right here. So first of all, this little drop down menu here will show you all the tokens you've got in your Ethereum wallet that may or may not show up in MetaMask. And of course, Kick Token is an absolute scam because you can't transfer it out of your wallet, even on Uniswap. ST ETH is just staked ETH. And over the right side, you'll see a little price tag which shows the total value of the token you've got. And then it'll say the price of one single token if you had one whole token. So at the moment, I've got 0.1 ST ETH. For one whole ST ETH, that will be $2,581, but I've only got 0.1, so that's valued at $25.81. Now, just loading up some other random profile here, you can see that someone is trying to send out the DAI stablecoin, and if this was actually my address, what I'd go do is click on the transaction hash, which is basically like the receipt, and as you can see here, the gas price set, or the GUI price set, was about 26. Oh, there we go. Now we can see it's confirmed. And that's because the 26 was well above the 21 GUI average speed. So it got through quite fast. 
So if your transaction is stuck on pending for minutes or hours, the best thing to do would be open up MetaMask, click on the pending transaction, and if you need to rush it through, go speed up and set a GUI price, which is anywhere in between the middle of average and high GUI, if you do need to rush through your transaction. Now, coming back to the Etherscan homepage and hovering over the resources tab, I'll go to charts and stats. And in the first box here, we can see market and financial data. Now on blockchain data, this is actually where it gets useful. So I like to come to the average block time from time to time. Just open it up, see what's happening. And as you can see here, back in 2017, block times were getting as long as 30 seconds. So if your transaction has been stuck for a while and you've got a good GUI price set, just come over here and see if the network is just taking a lot longer for some reason. Next up is the average gas limit, which is great to see how the network is growing as it shows the demand on the network and how fast the block size has to grow in order to fit all these transactions. Now, heading on over to Polygon Scan, it's basically the same as Etherscan, except it's missing one major thing, the gas price. That's because on Polygon, most transactions only cost a fraction of a cent, right down to 0.001 cent per transaction, which is absolutely amazing. But the useful data we can see here is the Matic price, the market cap of Matic, and the block time, which is about 2.2 seconds. So what I'll do is do the same thing as Etherscan. I'll paste in my address, go search, and as you can see, these are all my transactions. And you can see the transaction fee is 0.0001 Matic, which is a whole lot less than a cent and a whole lot cheaper than Ethereum. And back to this drop down menu again, because the fees are so cheap, you'll get a lot of scam tokens sent to you all the time, but among the spam, you will see your tokens. So this is my Moo Ave ETH from Beefy Finance and my Moo wrapped Bitcoin on Beefy Finance as well. Now taking a look at a transaction hash on Matic, you can see that this was a swap on the QuickSwap DEX. So what I did was send 1.22 ETH and swap it for the Beefy Finance token. And that's how much I got in return. And of course the transaction fee, low as always. And that's about it for the useful side of Etherscan and Polygon Scan. If you liked that video, consider leaving a like. If you want to have a chat, why not join my Discord server below? Okay, thanks, bye.